have a letter. This courier just ran up, told me he had a letter for me. Oh, that's what he gave me. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Okay. Yay. Uh, on that note, uh, I'm not going to use long stride and just run down there this time. I have my mages focus on, although I don't see anything in the upper right corner about it. So regenerate magic 8 minutes 34 seconds it is on i just don't see it in the corner what i'm going to do is i am going to have ease burden and that's alteration uh, i just learned resistance field oh favorite that's what i wanted favorite that one too many spells uh favorite that one favorite that one favorite that one I do not have a new flesh, so oak flesh is still it. Sometimes I miss so. a soldier's life. Oh, yeah. Look at alteration go up so fast. Restoration increased. Restoration increased. Do you get to the cloud district very often? This is Resistance Field doing this. Level up. Increase my magicka. And, um, because I'm leveling Restoration and Alteration, uh, the one that I was casting was Ease Burden to up my Alteration. The one that I'm casting is Resistance Field to increase my Restoration. Those are the two that I found most useful. Um, but Restoration has some extremely useful abilities in it. Um, is it Edgewalker line? Uh, let's see. No, I don't think so. Respite. First ward costs no magicka to maintain. This one. Descending Light. When you enter combat, rapidly regenerate magicka equal to half your restoration skill per second, which diminishes over 15 seconds. It does not stop while casting. So while you're holding a spell, you are still regenerating magicka. So that one is extremely useful when you're in a fight initially because you can just fire off big spells over and over and over and you're regenerating half of your uh, restoration skill really fast. And as you can see, I can level up my restoration skill really fast with this spell. So I will get enough to level up and get another perk for that one, and so I'm going to make this restoration spell I'm using cheaper. I have quite a few buffs in the corner, don't I? Damn right. You got this here, Aleth? You don't need me. Alright, fine, I'll come. Go past the fancy magic mm. Now when it comes to fighting this dragon, I do only have the uh, couple of spells. Did I actually learn all of them? I could have sworn I learned two attack spells. Maybe I didn't. But... <laughs> so easy. So... Magicka again. Descending Light. Now, Hallowed Burial are more powerful against undead enemies, 
Warrior's Flame is extremely useful. Uh, what I want is Overflowing Cup, I believe. No, I want this one, Spirit Tutors. That one is next. Uh, Sacred Guardian, all living allies within range. Doesn't help with Undead. It would help with Atronach, Daedra, and Familiars, but it would not help with the um, Undead build that I have going on. But Spirit Tutors leads you to Wheel of Life, which gradually accumulates ambient life force and releases a periodic burst, healing you 100 points every 30 seconds. So as long as I live for 30 seconds, I am fully healed. Being affected by a different healing spell or effect restarts the cycle from the beginning. So basically, keep spamming this uh, resistance field spell as I run. And that's how I level up my restoration insanely fast. I believe resistance field is part of that um, Fenderix magic evolved list, but like I did say earlier, I also have Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim and a couple of other spell mods installed as well. And the nice thing about resistance field is you don't even have to hold it. You just tap it and it casts. Also, I'm significantly faster than them because I'm unarmored and they're heavy armored. Heavy armored people run slower. Alright, Restoration 42! Time for a rousing speech, Irileth. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened. Spread out. Look for survivors. We need to know what happened. Not looking forward to finding this dragon. Okay, there we go. Level up. Okay. I could increase my restoration, but I'm about to fight the dragon, so I might want to do alteration. And let's see, can't do that one. Uh, Vancy magic, I refuse to do. Cast magic like a wizard of old. Your next 20 spells don't use magicka, are twice as effective. When you run out of spells, you're unable to cast until you rest by sleeping at an inn or in your home. No, thank you. This one up here, whenever you recharge them, you gain one additional for every 10 points of base magicka. So I would get another 20 spells right now, but 40 spells between rest versus unlimited. Whenever you recharge them, you may choose less or more spells in exchange for increase or decrease effectiveness and or one of three metamagic enhancements, which remains until your next rest. I don't like any of those options. So I am going to avoid that line. Uh, the Wild Shrines, I might go for that, but because it requires 50 in order to get this one, which is what I need next, I'm not even going to bother until I'm closer. Uh, the reason why I was looking at, our, at this is because Mage Armor. Get my armor spell 100% uh, empowered. This one, when you gain an armor spell in combat or enter with an active armor spell, you are unable to be affected by spells or attacks for 10 seconds, or you do an offensive or defensive action. Uh, energy shield, if wearing robes and no light or heavy armor, reduces incoming attack and elemental damage, but you lose magicka. So it's nice if you have a large magicka pool. But I think because I need to fight the dragon, uh, why wasn't it? Why won't go over to destruction? Urgh. Um. This one's interesting. Required 90. Teaches 18 different restoration spells that each fortify a skill by 15 levels for 2 minutes. I think... Oh, I need 50 for Warrior's Flame. This one is really handy. Uh, friendly targets restore 20 points of magic and stamina for 5 minutes. Hostile targets are cursed, which drain the same amount instead. Really good ability. 
So I think I'm going to get the spirit tutors. They don't show up on the map, but they uh, they wander the roads and they're blue people just like any other spirit. Unless you have the mod that makes spirits like invisible. Okay, so I just want to double check that I don't still have any. No spell books in there. Blue Firebolt is the only one left. I'll put that on my left side. There it is. goodness for that resistance field. <laughs> it's off there attacking some. Giants. Crash now, Mermel near. Nah. I don't get those nice fancy leap on the head kill things. But, uh... Ooh! Thigh-high heel boots. Uh, I don't think those affect me. I think they only affect female characters. But, might as well keep going on my restoration skills. And I probably need Mage's Focus. At the very least, I am probably low on it. Blah, 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 blah. Like I said, um, vanilla story, so I'm not going to sit here and listen to everything that they say. That's right. Uh, I have to set it up as a favorite, and then I have to actually use it. So, my left is on blue firebolt, so I'm going to put that back to ease burden. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragon born. Blah, blah, blah. Um. You, you. Can you say you want that dragon? So next is report back to Yarvalgrof, and it won't let me fast travel, so I guess I will run there, casting spells on the way. I've got to be the toughest little wuss in uh, Skyrim. I'm scrawny, I'm squishy, but I'm the only person running around in bare feet. Do, 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 do. Get the magicka back, cast the spells again. That should be enough to level up, and then one more skill up should allow me to get the, uh... Come on. There we go. Now that it's at 50, I can get my magic increased again. And I can get 
Uh, Pilgrim? No. no. Oh, that's what I wanted. This one. No, not this one. Warrior's Flame. Because the blessing, if it hits me and restores my magicka and stamina, and keyword magicka, then that makes it a lot easier for me, and the enemies won't be able to do as many power attacks, won't be able to do as many spells. Also, farther up that line, there are things that impact the... Uh, there are things that impact you must be one of those the... From the sorry, I am tired. Uh, it's a little bit late. I'm going to bed after this video. If you go up that line in Restoration, there are things that improve the Warrior's Flame ability so that it, like, damages undead when they get hit by it. So you get into a fight with those Draugr and Bleak Falls Barrow, and as soon as they get hit, either you're getting blessed or they're taking something like 20 damage per second, they don't even get to stand up before they fall over dead. So, the benefits of the Warrior's Flame against Undead is just insanity. The reason why I decided to switch over from Restoration Field to Alteration, the Ease Burden spell, is because while it is slower to level up, um, I need to get my Alteration up high enough. Well, there's the Greybeard's shout for me. Da, 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 vanilla quest waiting to talk to me. Um, but if I get my alteration up high enough, I can make novice spells free to cast. You there. We're looking for someone in White Run. Yeah, yeah. Who are you looking for? You don't even bother describing her. I can't ask you why. Who are you looking for? A red guard woman. That's helpful. Huh. Long hair, short hair, does she have a limp? Any particular beauty marks? Like, you know, give me something to work with. Alright, and because I am leveling up by doing this, I, uh... I should start getting more armor, more clothing options at some of the vendors. Might as well talk to her real quick, because one of the things I'm going to do soon, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get mammoth tusks, and so then all I have to do is bring one back for her. The nice thing about leveling up your magic skills is the higher you level them up, the uh, more powerful, or the, the not only the more powerful, but the cheaper they get. What's the magic? Good. You're finally here. The all's been waiting for you. You heard the summon. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. I serve your so what happened at the watchtower. Uh the watchtower was destroyed, we killed the dragon. No 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 no. Turns out maybe something called Dragonborn. I absorbed some kind of power. And the Greybeards. What do they want? If you really are blah blah blah. Hello, Faranga. Anything new for me? Does not look like it. Common tunic, novice robes, those are all the same things he's had. So his inventory is not refreshed. Um, I don't have anything new to sell him. So, offward. Uh, Bellathor's general store might be the only place I'd have a chance of getting regular clothes, such as boots. On that note, uh, did I get, no, I did not get any of the Thane equipment, which I should have for having slain the dragon. I don't think Balgriff was done talking to me. It seems 
this damnable console will find every word. There we go. I did not get both the axe and the great sword. I have a mod that replaces the axe with the great sword, and you get to enchant it however you want. Oh, Lydia, you need better armor. Okay. Oh my God! Whoever changed her body, ugh. No, go back and look at look at that insanity hanging out the front of her chest. Insanity, I tell you. Damn those gray mates to oblivion. Like, I feel they so bad for any girl who has to carry around that much weight on her chest. Especially a skinny girl like that. Oh, shush. Okay, now that I've used up all my magicka, level up. Restoration, nope. Uh, alteration 39. Now I will go up to this one. Get that because I'm only 11 away. And if Bellathor doesn't have any clothing for me, then that will be the end of the video because there won't be anything to review. Uh, Neophyte. So he's got the same things that I saw over in Riverwood, as well as Novice Robes, which are 50% Magicka region, but at least they're a discount on the, uh, on the spells. But I have 164 gold. I can't afford any of it. However, I can sell him the guards for boots. I can sell him this and that. I don't think I can actually learn that enchantment. It's just a description. Um, the lightning bolt I have learned means that there is something written down here. It does not necessarily mean that this item is enchanted. So, notice the value of nine. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, nope. Uh, not selling that. It's heavy, but it's special. I will put that in a. Uh, I'll put that in a home or a chest or something. Do come back. I like your robes. Are you a sorcerer? Uh, yes, I'm a sorcerer. No, I'm not from the college. Thank you for asking. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Great. Go back to work. So I do have an alternative for good-looking clothing. I will not bother doing that on camera because there are issues with that place. You can lose your save file if you try to save while you're in there. So like saving, looking at stuff, loading because you have no money, not exactly easy to do. Um, and then it, it just takes a while to find something. Things can be a little bit expensive. Oh, nice. I can make caped mage robes. whole bunch of different styles. Uh, common dresses dress, dress with apron, uh, dwarven cloak. Nice! Just need wolf pelt and leather. I, I might make that. Hmm. Wolf pelt and leather strips has no armor. Yeah, I'm gonna make that. And what else do we have here? Fingerless gloves. Floral wreath for the head, gloves, hooded monk robes, boots, nice, uh, mage clothes, robes, minor clothes, monk robes, gloves, shoes, winch boots, uh, wedding finery, winch dresses, whatever mod this is that adds all these different colors, oh my god, does it make it a pain to work through here. I'm glad I have a mouse that I can just, like, freewheel. It would be such a pain in the butt if I couldn't freewheel it. Which kind of means that these mage boots are probably all going to be variants of this look. Fur and... Ooh, I kind of like that one. Uh, and all it takes is linen wraps. That's one reason why I got the linen wraps out of the uh, Bleak Falls Barrel. 
And these also require linen wraps, but they're not enchanted, which is the unfortunate part. That one doesn't even have an appearance. So, because I don't have boots at all, I'm going to do that. And then there were gloves, which appear to be female style. Fingerless gloves, which also appear to be female style. Most of these are going to be female style because, let's face it, nobody likes making clothing and armor for men unless they want their male followers to be attractive. That's not bad. Uh, let's see. Not bad. I actually kind of like that one. Uh, I also really like that one. I like the design on that one. I just kind of wish it was inverted. That one is just psychedelic. Alright, so the ones that I really liked... I actually kind of like the design on that one also because it's the same one. But again, I wish the bright part was the dark part. This one. I will make those. Because if I can get a filled soul gem, I could end up wearing them. And I might as well come around to take a look at myself during this fashion show. Dwarven Cloak does replace the cape. Mage boots uh, are apparently for women because I no longer have feet. And caped mage robes are also apparently for women because I no longer have a body. Well... In that case, uh, the Dwarven Cloak is apparently for women because it's underneath my shoulders. Okay, so nothing out of that list is for men. Got it. Uh, I guess I will sell those and make some money. There we go. There is a way for me to make money and buy better clothing. I found it. See you in the next video.